Okay, so we got it locked in. All right, no more motivation. We got focus, we focus on ability, we focus on prompt, we got our aspiration, we got a behavior. There's still something missing. We can't cement that behavior into becoming automatic just yet. We're missing something. Why are we missing? Emotions. We need emotions. We need some positive vibes when we do that behavior. Positive vibes change behavior. Positive vibes make that behavior desirable and wants us to repeat that behavior. Why? Needless to say, in this episode, we're going to talk about emotions and celebrations. Hey, I'm Martin from One Camera Life. And if you think this topic sounds interesting, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Why? Because it's a video series and I want you to get notified when the next video in the series is being launched. So also press that little bell so you get notified. Also, if you like this video, feel free to like it. We have a button down there somewhere too. In short, positive experiences can reinforce a new behavior so that it becomes a habit. Positive experiences, there's some dopamine stuff going on in the brain, I'm not gonna explain that. But anyway, that results in that we wanna repeat that behavior because we had a positive experience with it. All right, so what I mean here, I don't want you to go out and throw a freaking party every time I do your new behavior, but you can do it in simpler terms. You can do tiny celebrations after you've done your tiny behavior. So say, back to my jujitsu example, in one of my past videos. Yeah, and by the way, if you haven't watched my past videos, this is like the fifth video now in a video series about designing for successful behavior change. So go back and watch all of it, I'll link up or down somewhere. Okay, so back to my jiu-jitsu example of the solo drills that I was gonna do on the floor here that never happened, that is now happening. Cause I'm doing it tiny. And I have a little prompt. So say when I'm done, I celebrate. I do a little yes, a little hooray, a little finger to the sky, a little fist pump myself, or a little humming, or a little dancing, whatever it is. Just a tiny little, like try to create a good response within yourself. For instance, what I do, I don't know if you can relate, but when you are competing in a jiu-jitsu tournament and you win a fight, especially if you win by submission, that feeling of like success, par none. So I try to like think, like create that feeling in me. When I want to be like, have a happy feeling, that feeling of submitting somebody in an actual competition, just mm, think about that. That can create, evoke like a very good positive feeling or think about, this is just what I prefer. Think about when you complete something or when you are being successful at either you handing in something, handing in a project at work that went well or you're getting good grades, something like that. Anything that's like evoking like a good feeling inside of you, try to like create that feeling once you're done your little tiny habit. All right, so BJ Fox triple threat. Not the same as in basketball, and it doesn't really call it threats, but it's this three celebration method. Is that a real successful way of jamming, jamming in that new behavior into your brain? It is celebrate when you remember to do the behavior, celebrate when you're doing it, celebrate when you're done. All three things. Triple celebration, triple the fun, triple the emotions. Why celebrate one time when you can celebrate three times, right? Last thing I wanna to touch upon here is something that he brings up in the book that I found really important. That was the timing of the celebration because all of us, me included, fall prey to this. We think that something like this is a celebration. Say we do all our workouts for a month, then we're gonna reward ourselves for a massage at the end of the month. That is not a celebration. That's an incentive. A celebration in this context needs to happen immediately after the behavior. So when I've done my little jujitsu solo drills, I need to celebrate immediately so that we can associate that celebration to that behavior. Uh, you wouldn't discipline a dog three days after he did something wrong, right? So why would you wait to celebrate your little behavior? Do it immediately. And in the last episode, we're gonna sum up the whole thing. I'm gonna give you much more valuable info. For instance, the importance of identifying with your new self and how that could be helpful for you in order to keep adhering to that new healthy behavior. 
This is Martin from One Camera Life. Hope you had a good time. I know I had. And if you're not sick of me yet, then I also have social media, Instagram, Facebook, One Camera Life. Check it out. It's awesome. Until next time. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press that little bell for notification so you get notified when I drop the last and final episode and every video I make in the future.